Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Today, we're going to be solving one more problem on dynamics and I'm going to be using Newton's second law of motion for this. All right. So as far as the description to this problem is concerned, you can go ahead and check the bottom of your screen right now. All right. Now, I would strongly suggest you guys to pause the video right now, go through the description once and then you can switch over to this. All right. Now, I'm assuming that you have read the description okay so here are two blocks a and b connected with the help of a string this string right now is at an angle of 10 degrees okay so what needs to be done is a force of 100 newtons that is this p is equivalent to 100 newtons has to be applied and what was going to happen is both these blocks will be having an acceleration represented by a all right so there are two um, variables that this problem has one is this acceleration A, while the other is this tension T. So T tension will be along this direction for block A, T tension will be along this direction towards the left side slightly you can say for this block B. Okay. So let's do the motion analysis for both the blocks separately for block A and for block B. So let's kick off. All right. So let's say over here we have this block A and here this is the relatively bigger block block B I'm making a free body diagram okay so I'm separating these two bodies all right so let's go ahead first of all we have a tension T in this direction okay and a tension T along this direction all right now this tension T is going to have two components for this block of mass a all right so this component over here is the cos component this angle is 10 degrees so this is going to be t cos 10 and over here we're going to have one more component this is t sine 10 now block a is having a mass of 5 kgs that's why the force due to gravity well obviously in the downward direction 5 kg okay so 5g is the amount of force with which the earth is actually pulling this block in the downward direction or towards the center of the earth you can say on a microscope on a microscopic point of view that is okay what else have we got so the motion is going to happen in this direction let me let me put it somewhere let's say the motion is happening in this direction and that is pretty obvious since this force p is applied towards the right hand side that's why now both these blocks block a as well as block b are going to experience some sort of friction also and the coefficient of friction for both the blocks are different for block a it's 0.5 and for block b it is 0.25 and we are going to take into account both those frictional forces also anyways what's next okay let's have the friction force there you go that's the amount of friction force and this block a is kept onto this horizontal surface so normal to this surface we'll have a reaction force over here this way let's say this is represented by r a and if this is r a then this friction force over here we know very well friction force is represented by mu r so this is going to be mu r a and since the name of the block is a so we have to use this coefficient of friction mu a r a so these were all the forces um, acting on block a all right anything else i don't think so that's it now secondly let's let's work with this let me have a use a different color so this is tension t acting on block b this is 10 degrees so this is going to be the cos component so that's t cosine 10 and over here we'll have the sine component t sine 10 now the earth is pulling this block b okay towards its center with a force of mass is how much block b 20 kg obviously the force with which the earth is pulling it is going to be equal to 20 g anything else um, there is a force p acting in the right hand side direction this way and the magnitude of p is 100 newtons there you go and we have a reaction force in this direction that this surface is offering to this block p okay in a normal way that's r p and anything else since this block is moving in the right hand side direction the friction force will act in the opposite direction this way so here we'll have 
of friction force also and friction force you know very well is mu r okay with the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal reaction so that's mu r and since we are talking about block b so this is going to have a subscript b and mu b so essentially these are the forces acting on block a and block b separately now let's frame equations um, separately for these two blocks okay so essentially we need two equations to solve two variables a and what what it's t all right so let me draw a line over here that's the maximum amount of space that we will have right now okay let's start with the motion analysis for block a I have to write small letters block A. So first of all, this is the y direction and that's the x direction. Positive, that's y positive. And this is negative and this is negative. Anyway, um, R A plus T sine 10 upwards positive. So first of all, let me write this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to what? Is equal to zero so there is absolutely no motion in the vertical sense that's why the summation of all these forces will be equal to zero okay so we've got ra plus t sine 10 ra plus t sine 10 and which will be equal to 5 5 g okay what else then we have this summation of all the forces in x direction since motion is happening in the x direction so the summation of all these forces this and this and what else and that's it will be equal to the mass into acceleration since we are talking about block a so the subscript a will take will come into the picture and acceleration is common for both so let's write it as a simply so let's frame this fx um, this will be taken as positive this will be taken as negative so we have got t cos 10 t cos 10 we have got mu a r a minus mu a r a anything else and all of this will be equal to mass into acceleration so how much is the mass now let's let's put it in the variable form m a multiplied by simply a okay now you need to put in the values okay so here we go so it's something like this t cosine 10 t cosine 10 minus mu a what's mu a that's 0 0.5 coefficient of kinetic friction um, let me write this 0 0.5 so what about ra so the value of ra can be taken from this equation so ra if you work this out ra will be equal to 5g minus t sine 10 that's 5g minus t sine 10 and that's it 5g minus t sine 10 is equal to mass into acceleration mass for block a is how much where is it where is it yeah 5 so 5 times of a so guys what essentially you need to do is you need to put in the value of g that is 9.81 over here and you need to simplify this equation and on simplification it becomes let me tell you <coughs> where is it where is it where is it uh, yeah on simplification it becomes 1.01071t 1.071 T, that is tension minus 5 times of A is equal to 24.525 so that's our master equation let's say this is our equation number one okay so we need one more equation in terms of T and A so that we have two equations and two variables so linear equation in two variables is pretty simple to solve anyway so that was the motion analysis for block A now in the same way, we'll do a motion analysis for block B also. So let's go ahead and do that. Where shall I do this? Okay. So guys, let's focus on block B right now. So here is the block and let us carry out the motion analysis for block B. Okay. When you speak of block B, along this direction, there is absolutely no motion. That means the total forces, the sum of all these forces in the y direction will be equal to zero. So let us do this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero and what we need to do is this rv will be taken as positive t sine 10 and 20g both of them are downwards and therefore they will be taken as negative so let's do this immediately <coughs> we have this rb minus t 
sin 10 minus what minus 20 g and all of this stuff is going to be equal to 0 all right now let's see frame let's frame the equation for motion in the x direction for block b itself so we have this summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration so right now we are talking about block b and therefore this subscript has to be taken into the picture okay let's start the first thing to do is since the motion is happening along x okay so just try to check try to observe which force is dominating the motion and you can clearly see this is the direction of motion and 100 newton is along the direction of motion so therefore this force will be taken automatically as positive and any force which is opposite to this uh, 100 newton force direction will be taken in the negative sense so we have this 100 newton force as positive okay and this is opposite to it so minus mu b and this is going to be rb what else do we have um, we have this t cos 10 also okay so minus t cosine 10 and this is going to be equal to mass into acceleration so the mass of block b is equal to how much that's 20 20 into acceleration is a that's 20 a now guys what you need to do is you need to put the value of mu b how much is mu b it's 0 0.25 over here and at the same time you need to put the value of rb also so rb can essentially be obtained as let me write this over here write this one more times 100 minus this is going to be 0 0.25 that's the value of mu b that i've written just now and as far as rb is concerned what's rb rb is equivalent to t sine 10 plus 20 g so this can be written as t sine 10 plus 20 g and again we have this minus t cosine 10 minus t cosine 10 is equal to what is equal to 20 a okay you just try to simplify this equation and also put the value of g is equal to 9.81 and the final simplified equation will be something of this sort let me tell you what it is exactly it's going to be equal to 1.028 times of t all right plus 20 a equivalent to what 50.95 so this was our equation number one and this is going to be our equation number two so we have two equations and we have two unknowns you need to solve this linear equation in two variable problem now i'm going to go with and do this with the help of a calculator okay let me show you how it's done <coughs> so switch on your calculator here it is okay go to where 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 mode all right in mode uh, then press for equation you need to press five that's it five so you have different forms of equation the first one is ax plus by is equal to c and that's the form that i've framed my equation one and equation two in okay that's a x b y and that's c a x b y and that's c okay so these are the two equations so these are my values of a1 b1 and c1 and this is a2 b2 and c2 so watch this carefully so the first one has to be taken into account one press one so the value of a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 so the value of a1 is how much 1.071 for b1 we have minus 5 and for c1 we have 24.525 let's put in these values quickly so here we go for a 1.071 equal to sign data entered then we have b1 as minus 5 minus 5 data entered we have c as 24.525 24.525 equal to sign and let's talk about that equation so we have the value of a2 1.028 b2 20 and c2 as 50.95 so let's do this quickly 1.028 1.028 press enter equal to sign that's um, 20 done and finally the value of c2 is 50.95 equal to sign all the data have been entered and as soon as i press this equal to sign that is enter i'll get the value of x and the value of y so x corresponds to t so here is the value of x it's calculating here it is you can see this clearly that's 28.059 so if you write it round it off to two decimal places you're, you're gonna get 28.06 okay so let me go ahead and write this t equals 28 point what zero 
six newton. So that's the amount of tension generated in between two these two blocks. Okay, and as far as the acceleration is concerned, that's gonna be obtained. Watch this carefully, and as soon as I press this. I'll get the value of y, and y corresponds to acceleration in those two equations. So the value of acceleration obtained is 1.10526. Here it is. Watch this. 1.105, obviously meters per second square. Ah, <sighs> done. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe. That this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit anyways i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep learning